नमस्ते आई एम सत्य लक्ष्मी डायरेक्टर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ नेचुरोपैथी लोकेटेड इन पुणे बिहाइंड पुणे रेलवे स्टेशन इज सेंट्रली लोकेटेड एंड एक्सेसिबल टू पीपल दिस इंस्टीट्यूट हैज कम अबाउट इन 1980s बट देन इट वाज इन एक्जिस्टेंस फ्रॉम 1929 ऑनवर्ड डॉक्टर दिनशा मेहता हु वाज a naturopathy doctor started this institute as nature cure sanatorium and uh, he was treating people who were coming from all over the world and all the freedom fighters that we only come to read in textbooks were at one time or the other was visitors to this institute to take the benefits of nature cure thanks to mahatma gandhi who chose Dr Dinsha Mehta as his naturopathy doctor visited this institute for 157 days he stayed here and in all his 12 visits he stayed from one day to 21 days and took treatment and made all his experiments in nature cure and learned quite a lot and felt that his future life will be dedicated to promotion of nature cure and take it to the poorest of the poor of this country after the independence is attained so in 1945 mahatma gandhi signed on a trust deed called all india nature cure foundation trust and uh, he dedicated his life to the promotion of nature cure and he said that he will be its lifetime chairman till death and serve the society through the means of nature cure and with that promise this institute began to serve public and today government of india has taken over this institute and converted it into national institute of naturopathy and we have been reaching out to people with various programs now when it comes to the practice of nature cure nature cure makes a person self reliant with respect to all needs of health see in general what happens is when a person becomes sick he or she immediately feels vulnerable and needs to see a doctor and visit hospitals and spend on drugs now naturopathy removes all these conditions it makes a person self reliant with regard to health by way of avoiding doctors drugs and hospitals that is essentially what is the strength of nature cure that it is able to survive this many years offering a various modalities of natural treatments using things that are easily available in nature for example sunlight water mud air yoga meditation all this requires no money all that is needed is a commitment determination and interest to take responsibility to one's own self so that is the uh, crux of naturopathy and the principles of naturopathy come from this philosophy that you are master unto yourself now nin being the apex body in this country with regard to naturopathy system now we have devised many courses and uh, many outreach activities to reach out to maximum people so by training the existing naturopaths in various modalities of nature cure for example acupuncture acupuncture is a simple tool yet very effective tool in taking care of pain and the neurological problems so we are uh, planning and offering courses through fellowships where doctors can come and get themselves trained quickly without actually compromising their practice or teaching they can take classes online or come for a brief period 2 to 4 days 
and then get clinically trained and upgrade their skills. And similarly, we are offering courses in ozone therapy, we are offering courses in um, massage, we are offering courses in fitness, we are offering courses in yoga, we are also offering courses in naturopathic nutrition and women's health and how women's health at eight stages of women's life starting from childhood to uh, post menopause and then uh, old age how women can take care of themselves using naturopathy tools we are training naturopaths not only naturopaths but ayush doctors and also medical doctors into lifestyle medicine also so like this nin has devised many courses to upgrade the skills of doctors on one side and also we are reaching out to people through uh, training teachers we call them TOTs so the training of trainers uh, will be taken up in a big way uh, through our various outreach programs so for example this year's IDY that is International Day of Yoga we are planning to reach out to the entire Pune uh, district by training ASHA workers. See, the ASHA uh, workers are the tail enders of uh, healthcare uh, delivery system in this country. So, we are targeting all these uh, 5,000 and odd ASHA workers who are working in Pune district through uh, active collaboration of uh, Pune Zilla Parshat and we are reaching out to them, training all these ASHA workers in common yoga protocol that has been devised by Ministry of Ayush. So through this, we want to see that maximum people participate and understand the rudiments of yoga, be able to get the benefits of practicing yoga. So this is how we are devising programs for general public and also professionals so that the people become self-health reliant which is the dream of Mahatma Gandhi. Naturopathy although it has come from the West as a system of medicine it acquired a different dimension after it reached the shores of India. In 1890s when uh, Sri Dronam Raj Venkatacharpat Sharma from Vizak uh, brought this to India he promoted it from nook and corner in Andhra uh, province in those days and later it uh, uh, went all over the country and the freedom struggle people made it a point to practice nature cure to talk about avoiding slavery or to get over slavery. Now having acquired freedom now we completely forgot this responsibility of self-care and self-health. Now, naturopathy from then onwards went on to add more and more subjects in India, particularly uh, the therapeutics, you know, more and more therapeutics have been added, simplifying the philosophy into practice. For example, massage, a massage, there are so many massages now that have come about the pressure massage, the fluid massage, the powder massage, stone massage, hot stone massage, you know like this, uh, partial massages, full body massages, oil massages, aromatic massages, you name, there are so many massages now available and uh, expertise has also gone up by way of quality of services being made available to people. Now similarly, hydrotherapeutics. Earlier it was only tub bath. Now tub baths have got many ways. Now spinal tub, hip bath tub, underwater jacuzzi, underwater exercises. Starting from it, it all depends on how much water you have. You can devise a mechanism. And also packs have come in a big way. You know chest pack, uh, trunk pack or any local pack, knee pack or kidney pack or head pack you don't have to have water you just need to have little water to sprinkle you can make a pack and get all the benefits of hydrotherapeutics like that every treatment you know that was that was there in nature cure that is there today have gone in many folds and offering their services to people in addition to it the nutrition Fasting 
have also taken different dimension so much so that nutrigenomics and nutraceuticals you know going down to the uh, root cause of the problem people are devising techniques and methods to offer the best services without costing much and without taxing much while fitting into the principles of sustainability and local available seasonal available foods fruits vegetables and the cultural practices so nature cure is going boundaries uh, with this sustainability component coming in a big way